On Sunday mornings, my dog Gus and I like to take our walk through the church district of our neighborhood. It has a variety of denominations, from the fundamentalist to the New Age. And then we come to the library. It's in that district too, and it's one of my favorite churches. The other one is very large and has no walls. Trees, maybe, but no walls. We mosey through the library breezeway, sometimes stopping to sit on one of the outdoor pews. It's nice to just sit a while and listen to the hymns of early morning solitude. There are pews in the church without walls as well. You can tell other people belong to that church too. To me, the library is truly a holy edifice, even though it lacks stained glass windows and has a different kind of steeple. And it doesn't have regular sermons, only those by visiting guests. One time we got to hear the spirit of Emily Dickinson, who was celebrating her birthday. I think it might have been her 180th. The library church is closed on Sundays, but that doesn't matter. It has an open service most other days of the week when anyone can walk its hallowed aisles and worship its world of books and words for hours. A world of infinite ideas and information, beliefs and opinions, questions and answers, even inspiration and encouragement. It's a big world inside this church. And the world of the church without walls is truly vast. It's nice to know that it's never closed. You can always depend on finding some kind of inspiration there. The worlds inside the other churches can seem small in comparison. I think it might be because they are worlds with only one book. A book with a finite number of words that are studied and dissected and interpreted over and over and over again. All for the purpose, it seems, of being distilled down to just one word. I'm not sure exactly what that word is, but I think it must be a very good one. Still, I just prefer a variety of words, and there's really no better place for that than the library. Or maybe just sitting on the floor of my other favorite church somewhere with a good book.